Alright guys, I'm back and this is gonna be my WWE this is gonna be my WrestleMania twenty nine review video. Now I just got done watching WrestleMania and uh WrestleMania it it it's finally it was here today. It came. The build up was I was a bit of afraid of this WrestleMania to be honest, because I didn't think that we was gonna have a good show. And I think we had a good, a damn good show. I think we had a really good show. The built for Triple H brought Lesnar, and I thought that was okay. Rock and Cena was okay. I worried, I was worried about the Rock and Cena match because I didn't feel feel that was much of a build up. It was had a good build up. I was except for the Undertaker and Punk. I was like, I want to. I was okay. that Avatarario and uh, Swagger match was good. Uh, the, t the Shield and Orton match was at Safe Pod. Team Hell No match was good. The Mark Henry Rabbit match was good. So, yeah. Uh, so, the first match here tonight is um, we st we don't actually start off with a world title for this, so it, that's quite good. The opener is the first match here tonight is a six man tag match. Um, Sh the Shield versus Rabbit. Uh, versus, why did I say Rabbit? Versus Seamus, Orton, and Big Shield, the Super Team. Versus The Shield. Uh, uh, sh um, the Shield. The sh and my god, did you... Dean Ambrose got his chest caved in tonight because he got slaps from the Big Show and he got his chest clubbered by Seamus. My god, his chest must be red. But, um, yeah. And, uh, what happened, um... Shield tried to, um, d dominate the Big Show. They do some quick tags in. They hit a high knee on, uh, Big Show and then... Orton comes in, does it? He, he gets a few hot pops and stuff. He, or Randy Orton hits um, Seth Rollins. It's like uh, jump, jumps in off the top rope, and then Randy Orton sees him and it hits him with a mid-air RKO, which is awesome. Uh, and then it ends up when um, Big Show gets a hot tag. Uh, uh, well, Sheamus gets a hot tag. He's, um, Big Show gets a hot tag for Sh um, for Sheamus, and then Orton hits Sheamus's head. Then Big Show gets pissed off at. Shame um, that uh, Seamus didn't get to tag in Big Show, and what happens is that um, Orton goes in, he all kills Seth Rollins, like I said, and then um, Roman Reigns spears uh, Orton, and then uh, Ambrose ro rolls in for the cover for the win. What's he three this year win? I'm glad this year won because I thought if they lost to the Super Team of Ryback, why did I say Ryback? No, it's Seamus, Orton, and Big Show. That would have crushed um, a push for them. So that's good. A uh, good match. And uh, this was a good match to open the show. Uh, video package for John Cena. It shows him losing every match in 2012. And um, it shows him winning the Royal Rumble. Second match tonight was Mark Henry vs. Ryback. It was a, it was a big guy match. I w we, I, we knew that big guy match. Going into this match. I was uh, wondering what Ryback would do with a sh how would he um, will we'll be able to put the shell shark will he be able to do a shell shark on Mark Henry and he pretty much answered my questions going into that after the, um, the match starts it's, qu it's quite slow they ju just to do a few uh, uh, the clothesline uh, um, a few uh, Ryback and Mark Henry try to clothesline each other um, it doesn't work and then Ryback gets Mark Henry off his feet. Uh, Mark Henry, he, hit, he he does a few clotheslines and a few sh like slimes and stuff. And then at the end of the match, Ryback's trying to do a shell shark. But and then what happens is um, um, Mark Henry, he, Mark Henry, he la ha actually lands on uh, Ryback's on Ryback's back. And then uh, Ryback gets knocked out. So that means Mark Henry won the match uh, with a splash. So yeah, Mark Henry wins. I thought Ryback would win here and then the Extreme Rules will continue this feud between Mark Henry and Ryback here, but, you know, if, I guess, you know, Mark Henry, they want, it kind of looks like they want to push for another world title again, which is going to be awesome, which, will be, which I think is good, awesome, you know. They want to have Mark Henry dealt with after WrestleMania, but, you know, something we could see. The third match tonight was Dolce Gora and Big E versus um, Team Hell No and the tag tag. Uh, the and Team Hell No defend. Uh, oh, uh huh. Uh, third match tonight was Dirty Taking Towels on the line. Team Hell No defending against Dolphin Big E. Uh, this match, I was actually 
Uh, sai, nesse mais, going into WrestleMania. Uh, I, did, I, I didn't really like the story, I didn't have any. The story wasn't that good, but I was excited what Big E would do in the match. Uh, so, Dolph, he, um, Dolph, before the match, Dolph uh, uh, calls AJ to come on the apron. She gives him the good luck kiss. Um, the same what happened to Danny Ryan last year. And um, after um, he turns around, Danny Ryan tries to hit him with the roundhouse kick. And then he kicks out too. Uh, and then Kane at the end, Kane, hit, uh, Kane and Kane hits the choke slam on um, Danny Bryan and no, not Danny Bryan. Why is he doing anyway? A choke slam on Dolph and then he turns Danny Bryan. Danny Bryan hits the headbutt on uh, a flying headbutt for the win on Dolph. So it's quite good. I thought Dolph would cash in tonight, but he did not cash in. Uh, I, this was a good match. You know, it's the poly I thought that Dolph was going to cash in, that's why they made him lose tonight, but obviously that was not proven, so, you know, uh, Danny Ryan and Kane are still your tag team champions. Fourth match tonight, Fandango vs Chris Jericho, uh, Chris Jericho's got a new jacket, it's red, blue and black now, so, yeah, that's good. Uh, Fandango has all the, like, ballroom dancers, like, around the rock, around and then he has that other bottom dancer she comes out she dances with him and stuff and he has pyro with his um whatever whatever it was something like that anyway he comes down to the ring uh actually this was a good match you know Fandango got um Chris Chappell put a good match on as he always does um he um but it was kind of a bit slow getting into it I wouldn't really get into this um uh you know match as it, as it progressed. It was kind of a troll because Jekyll dominated most of it, hit a cold breaker, Van Engel rolled out and then he was trying to hit a, a drop kick, Van Engel hit, kicks him in the head, it stops him doing a drop kick from outside the ring and then Van Engel picks up momentum from there and then he, he attacks him a few times, he you know punches him and stuff, hits him with two leg drops um, and he kicks out, a, a third leg drop, he misses wildly, Chris Jekyll calls for the um, what line salt and then Chris Jericho was like I don't know if he tweaked his knee he like he he came off quite funny he like tweaked his knee and then um, Stan Angle wins with a small package for the win so Stan Angle wins at WrestleMania uh, I'm glad he won and glad he went over glad Chris Jericho did the job of letting him go over here um, I just hope you know uh, they put on Ron I hope now that I want him to improve on his moves with Stan Angle because I don't really like his moves that. I hate that la la that Hulk Hogan leg drop he does from the top rope. It sucks. Why has he still got it? I don't know why. I don't want him to do that leg drop. He needs to start improving his finishers and his moves. Uh, so uh, that's what I want to see from Van Angle. And uh, what did you guys think about the Van Angle Chris Jericho match? Was it good for you or was it not good for you? I don't know. Uh, leave a comment if you guys think it was good. And then, and then the uh, oh yeah, the pre-show. Just talk about the pre-show real quick. The Miz is the new kind of champion. He they uh, he hit the he made way better effort to speak for. Why are you doing this very way better right now? Way better. I thought Miz should have. I know I'm a misfit, and I know I'm a huge Miz fan, but I am I'm not right with. I, I am angry with the Christian. Why would you not like way better win at WrestleMania? This will push him. To, he can lose to win event. He can lose that. I can tell to the Miz. Maybe an extreme rules, but not at WrestleMania. His big win at WrestleMania could have been tonight, and then he could have gone at Money in the Bank. I want to win the. I want him to win the Money in the Bank this year with Antonio Stozaro all right back this year. Then I can do picks to win the, Royal, uh, the the Money in the Bank match this year. But you could have had him win at WrestleMania. That would have boosted him into the main event scene. Miz has had his time in the main event scene at WrestleMania 27. It's time for like Miz let it go now. Let way back. Time to shine in the main event scene. Uh, the Rock video package. They show fans saying his catchphrases and stuff. And then we see a segment, the bathroom break. In this, in my, this was like a snack break, a bathroom break for you guys. Sean did he did a performance 
found like three songs that that was my cue to get in the fucking kitchen and make me sell make myself a sandwich or something like that. I made a nice I thought the sandwich was better than the performance to be honest. But um he sings a few songs, I wasn't listening. Uh, I was too busy eating my sandwich. I'll give that sandwich just, um three out of five stars than the performance to be honest. Anyway, the fifth match of the night was Jack Swagger vs Alberta W and for some weird reason Swagger doesn't get an entrance here. Uh, Del Rio, um, uh, Daryl, uh, this is actually a good match, um, and, uh, you know, I thought this was an okay match, I don't think it was good, but it was okay, uh, okay, so, uh, Del Rio, he, uh, um, Swagger tries to dominate him and stuff, tries to, you know, uh, yeah, works on the ankle a lot, Del Rio works on the arm, it was like a, it wasn't, it was like a technical match, uh, and then uh, near to the end, um, Alberto Del Rio is um, uh, uh, Zeb, Zeb tries to um, um, attack Ricardo Rodriguez with a crutch. Del Rio stops him, gets the crutch, and tries to hit him with it. He doesn't. Then Jet Swaggo attacks and throws him in the ring. And then Jet Swaggo gets caught with the armbar. He taps out Alberto Del Rio. Still your champion, still the world champion. I thought Dolph Ziggler could have cashed in, cashed in at Money Bank. He would have ran in and cashed in. Nobody's ever cashed in at WrestleMania, and that would have been awesome for me. I that was going to be market one for Dolph Ziggler because Dolph Ziggler would have cashed in at Money in the Bank and become a new world champion. And you know we could have had a Del Rio and uh, Del Rio and Dolph Ziggler feud. I would have liked that better than Jack Swagger and a Del Rio real feud. Really, even though this is probably the, the, probably the, the built up the most built up card on the show anyway, so whatever. Anyway, before the match of course uh, talk, he puts down New York and stuff and talks about immigration stuff. And then the best match of the night in my mind. One of the two best matches of the night. Six match of the night, Taker the Untaker versus CM Punk with, with uh, this was when I tell you this was good, you better believe me. This was fantastic. You had my favorite, one of my favorite top five favorite wrestlers of all time in there. One of my top, Undertaker is in one of my top five favorite wrestlers of all time list. And you got Tim Punk, my favorite wrestler right now in WWE. This and after that, this was like a dream match for me. You have Triple H, my, not Triple H. I'm thinking about the other match. You have Sam Punk, my favorite wrestler right now in WWE. You have Undertaker, who's in my top five favorite wrestlers of all time. He's just behind Shawn Michaels in third place. But those two facing off, that was like a dream match for me. Uh, but it's better than the one they had in 2009, the match they had then. Um, CM Punk, he hits the March on My Elbow from the announce table, a March on My Elbow, March on My Elbow from the um, ring, and then he hits the two high knees. He hits a GTS. Then Undertaker he falls back onto the ropes, and then he did a brilliant counter into the tombs, into the t tombstone, and then the ref counts one, two, kicks out again, two kicks out again. Oh, that was great. Another point in the match where the rest knocked, knocked out, and then Paul Heyman he comes and gives Punk the own. He hits on um, Undertaker in the he on the head with it, and uh, Heyman uh, Punk count the ref counts one, two kicks out, and then uh, Undertaker hits a choke slam one, two, and then so Punk hits a GTS one, two, and then out no way he hits the in with the own, and then he covers his chest like that. And then kicks out a two, and then Punk's trying to go for a GTS, but Undertaker counters it into a um, two storm, one, two, three. Undertaker is 21 and 0. I thought this was going to be Undertaker's last match at WrestleMania, but um, I don't know if he's going back at WrestleMania 20, uh, WrestleMania 30. Uh, I don't know, uh, to be honest. What do you guys think about Undertaker being at WrestleMania 30? Would, who, who's he got left to face? Rock? Cena? People say they want Cena to win the streak. I don't know that Dilly Pitty and what they want John Cena to win the streak or uh, they want somebody like the rap they want John Cena to win the streak so is John Cena an Undertaker at WrestleMania next year? who knows we'll have to find out in the next couple of months uh, and then we have the 7th match of the night which was the uh, another great match on the card one of the two best matches on the card no holds bar match Triple H my favourite wrestler of all time Triple H going one on one with Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman at ringside, uh, and HBK Shawn Michaels at ringside too. Uh, this was a 
very good match. I enjoyed this. This was this was very UFC fighting. I really enjoyed this. Uh, um, Triple uh, Brock Lesnar hits a, a few sick. He hits a terrible bump. Triple H takes a terrible bump on his um, on the outside. He, he had Brock Lesnar was like a beast in this match because he Brock Lesnar did two German suplexes on the floor, two. And then he put, and then Triple H gets super um, uh, through the special announce table, and then Brock Lesnar gets close on his outside, and then the, the brawling near the fans and stuff near the um, barricades. Triple H hits him, uh, he close lines him, and then Triple H hits him with a few back, sh uh, with a few chair shots over the back. And then uh, at the end of the match, we see Sean, um, Pocky, we see Triple H trying to break. Um, uh, Brock Lesnar now with a Kimura lock, it doesn't work. Paul Hines trying to hit, hit Triple H with a chair, and then Shawn Michaels comes in, super kicks him, and then and then it's downhill then for Brock Lesnar. He gets kicked in the balls, and then he gets hit with a sledgehammer in the head, and then Pendergreed on the steps for the win. One two three, Triple H is Pendergreed for the win. One two three, Triple H is your Triple H wins the match. I'm so happy at this moment. I was like, I thought at that time I got my moments with the CM Punk, Undertaker, and Triple H Brock Lesnar. I had my moments with then with those two matches. And then we get to the we have a segment between the Hall of Famers. They show a few clips of the Hall of Fame and stuff with Mick Foley, Bruno Sammartino, Booker T, Trish Stratus, and Bob Beckham. We actually and Donald Trump. We know and actually we find out on the Hall of Fame that Trish Stratus is pregnant now. Uh, so yeah, they showed that. So you know. Um, happy for her that she's, you know. And then we go to the Ace match tonight, part two, Cena Rock WrestleMania. This was better than I think last year's at WrestleMania. Last year's match at WrestleMania, because uh, but last year's WrestleMania, I said it was terrible. Um, many people would agree with me that this was terrible. But Rock and John Cena, I think John Cena really improved. He, he, well, there wasn't a moment when he was like, uh, the, a little tired or anything in the match. He was, you know, fall out. He was, you know, he was, he was hitting with each other with, with, with spine busters, rock bars, people's elbows, AAs, AAs, fab knuckle shuffles, and it was great. Rock tries to hit, um, Jesse tries to hit, uh, rock at the end, Cena tries to hit Rock with an AA, but he counters to a rock bar, and Cena hits an AA for the win at 1 2 3. John Cena wins the match. So, John Cena's a new WWE champion. Uh, and another thing on this match, Team Funk and Team Los Carlos weren't even on this show, this book, I don't know if it's on the or not, but, you know, they weren't on there, so my bathroom break was ruined there. Um, I'll give this WrestleMania out of 10, I'll probably give it a 7 out of 10, I think, you know, the Cena Rob match was good, it pr improved. Triple H Brock improved, improved, uh, Undertaker and Punk was amazing, and, uh, pretty much that was it for the matches. W and Swagger was good. Six on Tag match was good. Team Hot match was alright. What do you guys think about this year's WrestleMania? Uh, was it okay? I'd lo love to hear you guys in the uh, Leave a comment and what, what your thoughts was at WrestleMania. What your thoughts on this show was at WrestleMania. Leave a comment in the comment and comment below, guys. Thanks for watching. Break out. Rotomite.